All right, kids, welcome back to the shop. Today, what we're going to do is we're going to rewire this motor from 120 volts to 220. That's what I'm telling you. We're going to rewire this. As it stands, I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's set up. This is a single phase motor, it's set up for 115. 24 amps or it could be 230 and 12 amps at 110 24 amps my 20 amp circuits 110 volts will not run this so we need to rewire the motor to accept 220 volts and then it will be 12 amps all right hopefully that makes sense it will by the end of the video all right, we, we start by removing this cover. Uh-oh. 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 <laughs> Oops. I removed the wrong cover. <laughs> Who didn't see that coming? I think this is the starter relay here. I'm not sure what this is. Leave a comment. What do you think it is? Alright, let's try behind this cover. Okay. That's it. I can get a light here to show you guys. Alright guys, can you see in here? So what we have is uh, we have spade connectors or knife connectors and see there so what we have to do is figure out what combination we need for 220 all right guys I'm gonna hopefully you can see this so right here is 230 so what it's telling us is 230 you see here this is one two three four so on one and four is the line okay so that's the power coming in and then on three is t3 and t2 okay so let's come back to here and if we look here i don't know if you guys can see it but you have to take my word right here there's a number one okay up here's a number four and this, this is T2, I believe. Yes, this is T2 right here. Can you guys see that? Here's the line here, line, line, okay. This is T2, so we're gonna put T2 here. This is T3, we're gonna put T3 right there. All right. Hopefully you guys can see that. Let's, uh, let's do that. Line, so T, this is T2. Just like that. And this is T3. T3. All right. So we're wired up for um, for 220, 220 at 12 amps. As you can tell, I'm very confident. All right. So now what we have to do is we have to wire a pigtail off of the 220 outlet for the lathe. Before we can start the air compressor. I have to make a pigtail. One end has a female outlet on it. The other end will be hardwired into the lathe electrical box. All right, we're at the uh, outlet for the lathe. This is a 20 amp 220 plug. We're gonna wire a pigtail off the side here for the compressor. I wanna make sure the compressor works before I wire in a dedicated circuit. I remove the cover 
of the receptacle box. Stay with me guys, this might get a little confusing. I have to install three solid wires to the outlet. This will be a pigtail to connect a pigtail. Now we can install the pigtail with the outlet to the solid wires using wire nuts. Okay, everything is wired up. Let's plug in the air compressor. I'm not sure if the compressor is off or on. The switch is not marked. I'll just plug it in and see what happens. <laughs> Who didn't see that coming? I guess the switch was on. I better shut it off. I loosen up the motor and put the belt back on. I try to line the pulleys up. Well guys, you hear that? I'm gonna say a bearing's bad in that thing. Yeah, listen to that. Let's get you close. You should, you should be able to hear that. Yeah, I'm gonna say there's a bad bearing, so this thing's probably headed to the trash heap. What do you think? Should I fix it? or donate it to my good friend the trash can. Leave a comment. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.